Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is an update coming from London. There was a lot of news to get through and thank you to Dave Nathan and UK NIP for their coverage from the scenes. The first story I'm going to discuss is the teenager that was shot dead in the East London estate in the early hours of the morning on Wednesday, September the 1st. My London newspaper said there was reports of a shooting in Beaumont Road estate in Leighton in the early hours of the morning. They later found a male believed to be in his late teens suffering from gunshot wounds on the street and despite the best efforts of emergency services, he was pronounced dead at the scene at 2.28. Residents reported that the estate was locked down and nobody was allowed to leave unless they went to get food or go to the hospital. And this is an aspect that people forget about when a cordon is up, you lose the basic rights of just going out and freedom and stuff like this. Nikki Durkin, 39 years old, who runs a local food bank, told the newspaper that she was sleeping in bed when she was awoken by police at a door at 2am and a helicopter above her house. There was 10 police officers in her back garden and the police said the suspect was in the garden and they were asking if they could search it. The suspect managed to escape the garden before the police could find him. She then went on to say there were 60 people at a street party on the other side of the square further up Beaumont Road that night. And police were investigating if the shooting was linked to an extreme act of violence that occurred in the area earlier on the same day. Police said inquiries are ongoing to establish whether there were any links to a hammer attack and a fatal shooting that took place hours apart. A teenager was rushed to hospital with head injuries and his current condition is unknown but one Whitney said he got off a bus and was bleeding on the ground. Wolf and Forest Council tweeted that they are supporting the police as they investigate the two serious incidents in Leighton overnight. Extra patrols have been brought in to reassure residents and another witness said there were several shots fired in this situation. And I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story. In an update to a story that I covered a couple of days ago, this was an incident in Leighton. And it happened inside a hostel on Leebridge Road. Police have named the 32-year-old that was killed in the stabbing in East London. Police, paramedics and air ambulance crews went to the scene of the knife attack at around 4.30pm on Sunday, August the 22nd. Abdi Kadar Adan, who is an East London resident, was found with fatal injuries. And he was pronounced dead shortly after. His next of kin have been informed and are being supported by the police. A post-mortem examination confirmed his medical cause of death as a stab injury. The Metropolitan Police statement that was released on August the 25th confirmed that a second arrest took place and an ongoing murder investigation was underway. And the latest update is that two people have been charged in relation to the murder. Detectives investigating the murder of Abdi Adan have charged a second man in connection. Mahi Noor from Leebridge Road also was arrested on the 25th of August on suspicion of murder and on Thursday the 26th he was charged. But they don't specify the charges for the other person in relation to it. So I'll definitely keep you updated on the conclusion with that story. And another story coming from Harrow in London. Our reporter Dave Nathan went down to the scene where five people suffered stab injuries at four o'clock in the morning on Monday the 13th of August. There was a large fight the police say in the railway approach in Harrow. All five people involved were meant to be in their late teens and early 20s and were taken to hospital. The conditions of two men and one woman have been assessed as non-life-changing or non-life-threatening and two other men are in a serious but stable condition. There has been no arrests at this stage and the ambulance service said they sent a number of resources to the scene. Five ambulance crews, a medic in a car and two advanced paramedics and two incident response officers. They also dispatched an air ambulance as well. So this was a massive incident and very little information about about this case. So as of yet, I don't believe anybody has passed away in connection with that story, but I'd definitely keep you updated if that changes in the future. In relation to the double murder in Westminster that occurred, and I've been covering this for the past week, Lee Peacock, 49 years old from Harrow Road, has been charged with the murders of Sharon Pickles and Clinton Ashmore. He was demanded in custody at Westminster Magistrates Court on the 30th of August. So my condolences to the family of the two victims and I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with that story. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow us online as well at scarcitystudios.com. Peace.